There are very few creatures walking this earth that I despise more than a doggone tick. Man, I hate these blood-sucking pests. I wish I could do a Thanos snap and get rid of all of them. Or better yet, how about a flamethrower? Most of us don't have Thanos' glove nor a flamethrower, so the next best thing is something you probably never thought of. How about a syringe and some hydrogen peroxide? Holy crap. Oh, you free. Oh, don't. he's eating the apple. So, this little vehicle is an auto rickshaw used in certain parts of the world, like in India. The three-wheeled vehicle is seen coming up to a huge, curious elephant who is not very amused by the presence of this thing and lets it be known pretty quickly. <laughs> Check out this video of this man chilling with a whole bunch of deadly big cats and everything looks very peaceful until a leopard almost went full leopard on the man. The man was saved just in the nick of time by the tiger. You know, I'm very much of a dog lover. Have been my whole life. I was going to shape things up years ago before I got my giant schnauzer and was going to get my dream pet a parrot. Come on. Come on. Ah. Hi. You want to talk to me? You want to talk to me? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What? Oh, do you want a cracker? You want an apple? You want an apple? apple? An apple? A cracker? You want a cracker? Mm -hmm. I think you had you a, apple? You had a cracker already. Mm -hmm. You had an apple today too. Cock -a -doo -doo. Cock -a -doo -doo. And then I found out that they live a long ass time and will certainly outlive me. I was like, um, no thanks. But I still love parrots and macaws. In this video, this guy has two very well trained birds who accompany him on his bike ride. They even know how to fly off freely and come back to him. Incredible. Come on. Yeah, epic. Epic. Good girl, happy. Here's another video of an example of a primate who is amazed by a magic trick. This baboon is in utter amazement and I'm here for it, baby. Check out this video of a gigantic humpback whale who is minding its business when some kayakers get in the way and one of them gets flopped on. He knocked it over. 
Who knocked it over? The kayak. What trips me out is how everyone is taking this lightly and laughing in the background. When an animal weighs as much as like 15 Chevrolet Suburbans lands on top of you, you can't assume that the people will make it out alive. The two kayakers here luckily made it out. Look, I don't care how fast you are, trying to race an ostrich is a fool's errand to say the least. no contest. The ostrich left Dennis in the dust without even trying. Woo! That bird is fast! Well, I ended up going top gear because the ostrich started moving. I'm trying to get away from it. So, some of you may have seen the short that I created with some good old mystical rapping in the background this past week. If not, the link is in the description. That was from this video of a girl in California who pushed a large bear to get it away from her dogs. The 17 year old girl basically just reacted and did what many of us would have done. Pretty scary situation. Not sure where exactly this is, but this guy is sitting in his truck and mentions not one, not two, but three cougars. One of them literally comes towards the vehicle. Mountain lions are interesting animals in that they're not endangered or anything like that, but they're very elusive and there are not a ton of encounters between people and these majestic creatures. I've told you guys ad nauseum at how big and dangerous that moose are. Here's a good representation of at least the size part of that. This female moose, however, is very tame, and I don't know if her humongous self is used to being around humans or what, but she seems to be so sweet. I would be terrified as heck though. So this is in Malaysia, where this ostrich, which is actually someone's pet, is running on the freeway. The bird's name is Chickaboo, and the ostrich kept switching lanes like a drunk driver and got up to like 35 miles per hour before it eventually slowed down because uh, it got tired. The six month old bird was then returned to its owner. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe for the best animal commentary out there. I am Curtis. Okay. See you next time. Do good, do great, and they talk bad on you. No mean, no face, cause they're not factual. I won't stay too long here, I'm just passing through. I might hit the bank and get a bag or two. My mama asked me why you got that cash room. Second you switch up, they might get mad.